Okay, welcome back everyone to Clock Tower. I'm Gustaville. Uh, last time on Clock Tower, I better pause it, never know what may happen. Um, we became Helen Maxwell again. I'm getting, I'm very tired of her by now, but, you know, what, what's a girl to do? Um, yeah, so we became Helen, and we came to the library to retrieve the statue. It's a brand new scenario, it's very cool. And so... A man was killed by a clock, and Scissor Man showed up like usual, and we just heard Edward's voice from the top of the staircase. Since we know some things from our last playthrough, if you watched it, then I'm not- Helen? I'm not really sure about this. Uh... If you know what I know... Which you should. Edward! Edward! Why are you whispering? Ew, where's his body? The bodies always disappear. What the <laughs> hell? Oh my god! I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! Aswan! Oh, it's always something with you, huh? Why did I do that? I knew it! I knew it! Ah. Uh. Oh well, whatever. Let's find another way. I think that ladder seems like it. Maybe a desk. Okay, it should take him a little while to get down here because he's a creepy old man. Okay, come here, ladder. I knew you'd be handy for something. Helen just loves to beat this guy up. I'm so I'm still recovering from my concussion, Helen, but I've got enough you know, energy in me to come after you, you bitch. Oh! oh! Ah, Helen, ah! Ah! I think I'm gonna skull fracture! Uh, uh. We're kicking his ass this time, man. Take down. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, okay. Well, that was irritating. If he's up there a third time... I li just like to look around, mostly. But if he's up there again, I'm gonna... Blunder. But it's worth having a look, you know? There are things that you're like, you just can't be totally sure of. Unless you check them out. The operation panel with a big clock. Something is written on it. A uh, hint. Great. A big pool of blood. But where did Mr. Sullivan's body go? Scissor Man ate it. That's my answer now to everything. Where'd all the bodies go, Scissor Man? Where'd Rick's body go? The dog. The dog ate it. Like, damn. Maybe he buried it. Okay, um, let's go to Mr. Sullivan's office and try and retrieve the statue. The statue. Um. That door, I'm not sure it comes open. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. Well, goody for him. La 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 Personal computer, the image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. Wow, that's harsh, Helen. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is... <gasps> Professor Barton! It feels like I really should have known a lot more about this if I'd done this scenario. I wonder if there's anything else. Hell if I know. Oh. No hands inside the drawer? There's a key inside the room. You now have the collection room key. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Is that a wastebasket? Just a trash can. I expected something to be important about it somehow. Everything's normal here. Okay. Well, I have a feeling everything's not normal in the collection room, so I better save my game. Just in case, you know. Okay, not sure about this. Now I can enter the collection room. Happy day. The way they open doors in this game wears me out, like, seriously. Um, oh, it's fucking dark. Uh, the collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt. 
other places, of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, but this time it's pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium there? Okay, you, I could use the light from it. That looks a lot like an aquarium. Um. Turn it on. Oh my god, no, no, no! How did he get- Ah! 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 Okay, that, that, ah! Come in here. Would he have just waited in that aquarium forever? It's okay, I don't love aquariums. I was just look into the fish, and then you know, you just always do this to me, Helen. I was trying to hide from here so you wouldn't give me any more concussions, because you know, we would not have a limit on those, but no, you're just such a bitch about everything. Okay, apparently, oh, so she doesn't look so good. Scissor man, no! Scissor man, no! Oh, okay, I can't get it. Scissor man, no! Scissor bing! Or whatever it is you do. Ah! Uh, what is this? Hurry up, Helen. I don't want him coming in here. If you're gonna hide under the desk, you better make it snappy, girl. Whee! What the hell, Helen? You better hurry. What the shit? Is there an earthquake too? Is this him saying he sees me? Helen, you're not hiding behind that stool very well. You're wearing pink. I, I can kind of see you. You're, you're just, just not very good at this, Helen. What is with this? That was kind of scary, actually. <laughs> I, I half expect him to like jump back out, like. You thought you got me, Helen. Nope. Nope. You bitch. Oh, it's fucking creepy in here. What about this book? What was that little shit reading? It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. No, there weren't. There was just Edward. I wonder where your scissor mag magazine. The smile of the mall on the cover looks very fake. How is this even... She's the library clerk. I just saw... Hmm. How is that even... Oh, my God! Oh, no! How is... Oh! I sound like a fucking dog yapping. Yeah, Will this work a second time, please? I don't think there are any other hiding spots. Get down! Get down, girl! I got my panic button ready. It just takes so long, I'm not sure about it. Man. Uh oh. Please, no. I just don't feel convinced that I fooled him, even though I know I did. Like I expect him to jump across the counter and chop my head off or something. <sighs> Jesus. Man, he got me there. If I were Helen, I would have been curious about how that woman's head got lodged in the bookshelf like that, too. What seems like the good place for now is the desk. Any other bookshelves you like to hide in? There are red stains on these bookshelves. Blood? Oh gee, I wonder where they're from. I feel like saving. That clock is kind of bothering me. It's a mirror of, of my heartbeat or something stupidly psychological like that. Hello? I don't have time to read these books. Well, at least you know. Do you soon know, girl? Maybe there was something else in the creepy room. There are many encyclopedias. The good thing about exploring new rooms when you're getting chased by Scissor Man is you're like, I know he's not gonna pop out because he's already behind me trying to murder me to death. I want to see what's in that room in the front if I can go there. La 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 la. A 
computer for managing the library. I hope it is networked to the outside. Well, why? You're not using it. Girl. Minya. Minya. Can I go through here? Not scary room, is it? I don't like scary rooms. Oh? Huh? I know I'm gonna regret it. But I'll humor you. Edward, I thought you would be here. For reals? It's dangerous here. Come with me. Come with me. Come with Mama. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. I don't know why I bothered, really. He's just not going to be, be there boy. next time. And don't worry. Yeah. We'll make it. Okay. Stupid kid. If only he would be a good boy and listen to me and not try to murder me and stuff. Maybe I could like him, but... No, he's a little creeper boy, voiced by a girl with a voice twice as deep as mine. What? Huh? Is that the fuzz? The police car siren is right. Someone must have called the police. Is that for real the police? Are they gonna shoot me? The door cannot be opened from the front. Maybe policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. There's so many people just on the other side of the door. Was I, should I not have come get him? Well, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, so maybe this was a time thing. Uh, I'll save in a different slot just in case. I have learned from my days as Mansion Helen. Okay. Scissor man, be a peach. Don't bother me. Those aren't lockers, are they? You know how he is with those lockers. Save! That's pretty scary. Okay, oh. Face back. There's some forms and loan cards on the table. That's good, I guess. Oh no, there's another fax machine! You know how he likes fax machines! You know how he is, man. A clerical de er, a desk is in perfect order. I'll bet everyone has gone home. I freaking hope so. There's nothing that seems useful. Everything seems normal here. Fax machine? Rather primitive copier. They're obviously having budgetary problems. It seems like no one had too, just like at the office, yeah. Or university, I was gonna say, it seems like no one has any money. Okay. I'll do this. We'll do this, cabinets. Files line the shelves. Hello? No. Okay. I thought for sure he was is that a light switch? Don't turn it off, Helen. Scissor man! He's turning off the power. Oh, oh, I didn't realize the lights were off. It's so, so dark in here, I didn't think about it. It's a horror game, you know. Calendar's hanging all up. Today isn't Friday the 13th! <laughs> well, good lord, Helen. Okay. Ah. Siren scared me. Okay, let's go back to the creepy room. Creepy dark room. Creepy duper duper blah 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 blops. Creepy room. It's really creepy and I hate it. Cause it's scary and I don't even know. It was in Mr. Sultan's office. That's where it was. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
no more, please. No more. Oh. That's scary. Okay, but there's our statue, looks like. Okay, so this looks like a good place to stop. Ooh, suspenseful. So, um, yeah, you know. Like and favorite this video if you enjoyed, or subscribe if you'd like. That would, that would make me happy. Um, yeah, so I'll end this for now. I'll see you next time on Clock Tower. Dot, dot.